Selena Gomez versus Haley Bieber, Lifestyle Wars. Besides both women being super celebrities with constantly opposing fan bases and separately being a part of Justin Bieber's love life, Selena Gomez and Haley Bieber are both very wealthy and successful women. Well, on today's episode of Lifestyle Wars, we will be critically comparing these super women in a classic head-to-head -head face off. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell below to get notified anytime we release new videos. Without further ado, let's get right in. Before we go on, let's take a look at how both these women rose to such great heights in their careers. Early life and career. Haley Road Bieber was born on the 22nd of November, 1996 in Tucson, Arizona. She had always had fame around her, as her father is Stephen Baldwin, a renowned actor. Haley was named after Halley's Comet, which is one of the rarest of comets, as it is only seen once in 75 to 79 years. Haley was homeschooled as a child, and later during her teenage years, she enrolled at the American Ballet Theater in New York, as her first career goal was to become a ballet dancer. But unfortunately, after a foot injury, she had to end her training. In 2005, Haley debuted as an actress beside her family in the documentary, Livin' It, Unusual Suspects. Since then, she has featured in a number of TV series, music videos, and even got an amount of fame from being the host of the TV show, Drop the Mic. However, Haley's main hustle is in the fashion industry, as she is a supermodel. She began her modeling career in 2014, when she signed for Ford Models in New York and appeared on magazines such as Tatler, Love, V, and ID. That same year, she had her first commercial campaign with the clothing brand, French Connect, and debuted on the runway for Topshop and Sonia Riquel. Since then, Haley has worked with top fashion brands like the American Vogue, Dolce & Gabbana, Ralph Lauren, Levi's, and Tommy Hilfiger, plus host appearances on the MTV Europe Music Award and iHeartRadio Much Music Video Awards. Haley has also invested her time to raise awareness for mental health through podcasts and social media posts. Her fame saw a boost in 2018, after she tied the knot with popular pop star Justin Bieber, of whom she has appeared in some of his music videos. Haley owns her skincare brand named Rhodes, which has recorded so much patronage since it has been recently launched, and a collaboration with UK footwear brand Public Desire, which is worth millions of dollars. Selena Gomez, on the other hand, wasn't born with a silver spoon. Born on July 20, 1992, to a former actress, Mandy Tife, and a father who loved music, Selena was named after the late Tejano singer, Selena Quintanilla. She came from a not very financially buoyant background and claimed that they had to search the couch for quarters to fill up the family's car tank. Just like her mother, she had always loved acting, and she made her first appearance on a set came when she was only 10 years old, where she played the role of Gianna in popular children's series, Barney and Friends. However, she was dropped two years later, after the producers felt she was too old for the show. After all, she was already 12 years old. Since then, she has featured in several movies like Spring Breaks, Neighbors 2, Sorority Rising, and The Dead Don't Die, and has also voiced several animated shows like Mavis in the animated film franchise, Hotel Transylvania. Selena's fame came when she joined Walt Disney, featuring on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, and then taking a recurring role as Michaela in Hannah Montana. Her first lead role, and what really served as her breakthrough, was her portrayal as Alex Russo in the outstandingly successful series, Wizards of Waverly Places. She started her career as a singer after she was part of the track list on the show, and has since then released billboard toppers like Come and Get It, Good For You, It Ain't Me, Lose You To Love Me. She also performed during the opening ceremony of the UEFA Champions League final. With her well-grounded experience in the film industry, Selena decided to try out the role of a producer, as she was part of the production team for Netflix's 13 Reasons Why in 2017, and during the COVID-19 pandemic, she started her HBO Max cooking show, Selena Plus Chef, which she produced and starred in. She also went on the same pattern in 2021, as she produced and starred in Hulu Wonder series, Only Murders in the Building. Selena Gomez is also a super entrepreneur, as she owns a huge restaurant in New York City, named Serendipity. It is well known for its own premium ice cream that comes in a variety of flavors, 
She also has a cosmetic fashion line called Rare Beauty and an online store where fans can buy customized Selena merch. And about her love life with Justin Bieber, she and the musician have had a roller coaster of relationships and situationships from 2008 up till 2016. This is the major reason why she and Hailey Bieber's fans always have clashes on social media, with most arguments being about who's better than who. However, she is presently with British singer Zayn Malik. Now that we have looked at how far both these women have come to build such successful careers, we can now send them both into the ring. For our first round, we will be matching their massive mansions. Both Selena and Haley are super rich, so owning high-valued houses and luxurious homes is a norm for them. Selena owns a 6,620 square feet mansion in Tarzana, which is massively sophisticated and furnished. It has a massive swimming pool, a resort center, and a basketball court where she maintains her amazing body shape. She also owns a mansion in Calabasas, Los Angeles, which is a usual dwelling abode for top Hollywood stars like herself. This was her first publicly known house, and it is worth $6.6 .6 million, according to Wikipedia. The mansion is covered with tall green bushes to protect Selena from flashing lights of the paparazzi. It is not heavily furnished, as there is a lot of space in the interiors, with six bedrooms and ten beautiful bathrooms. Gomez's most expensive mansion is her hometown, Texas, in the city of Fort Worth. It covers a land area of 10 acres and 7,780 square feet of built area. The two-story mansion is luxuriously furnished, with five rooms and bathrooms, a movie theater and a wine cellar. She also owns other mansions in various locations, like one in the Hidden Hills, California, but was later sold to her fellow singer, French Montana. On the other hand, right after her wedding with Justin Bieber, Haley and her new spouse stayed in a lake house around the Toluca Lake area in California. With a value of about $8 million, the house is a sophisticated two-story building with wide-open interior space and luxurious decor. It has five bedrooms and six bathrooms, a private lake in the compound, and a large outdoor space. There is also a music studio, which would have been frequently visited by Justin. In 2019, the couple then purchased another mansion in the famous Beverly Hills, California. Nicknamed The Tropics, the house was built in the 1930s with colonial-style architecture, but has been renovated over the years to meet the modern standards. It has five bedrooms and seven bathrooms, with top-notch fittings and decorations. However, Justin and Haley sold this house in later that year for $9 million. The next year, they then moved to Beverly Park in the mountains of Los Angeles, buying a six acres and 11,000 square feet chateau. With one large living room on each floor, the house is one of the most luxurious abodes in the environment. There are seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms, a library, a cinema, and a gym. There are also several lounges where the couple can accept guests and an outdoor pool. To own this haven, the Bieber couple had to spend over $26 million. Selena has a lot of expensive buildings, but Haley and her husband splash quite huge amounts on their houses. So, one point to Haley. Round two, cars. Selena and Haley are very influential, therefore, they spend a lot of money on how they travel. Haley Bieber has a very luxurious garage and has been spotted with exotic vehicles. She owns a Range Rover Sport, a very durable vehicle that can carry the model to almost every location. To purchase this particular model, it cost her about $87,000. Haley also owns a Tesla Model X worth $90,000, a Porsche Cayenne GTS, which cost her $110,000, and her most expensive Mercedes AMG G63, which cost around $170,000. This vehicle has enough room to fit five passengers, a handcrafted AMG 4.0 LV8 bi-turbo engine, and can go from zero to 60 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds. Selena Gomez also has a stacked garage, and her most decent automobile is her Mercedes GLA 250, which costs about $36,000. She has also been seen driving a Range Rover Evoque SUV, which costs around $50,000, a BMW 530i, which cost $55,000, and a BMW X5, valued at $60,000. The most expensive vehicle in her garage is her Mercedes S400, costing the music star around $110,000. Haley Bieber has some steamy rides, but this round has to go to Selena Gomez. Point to Selena! For round three, we have luxury items. 
Selena Gomez is true proof of the fact that diamonds are a girl's best friend, as she has been seen rocking some of the most exclusive pieces. During the American Music Awards in 2016, she wore a pair of white diamond dangling earrings and coup d'éclat ring, with both pieces from Cartier costing $100,000. In the music video of her song, Same Old Love, she also wore a diamond bracelet studded in white gold, valued at about $150,000. And recently at 2022 SAG Awards, she wore a black column dress with a cutout by Dominican designer Oscar de la Renta and a layered choker decorated with more than 200 carat diamond, which cost about $1 million Bulgari neck piece. Selena has also been seen with very expensive bags like a $6,500 Fendi Peekaboo Silver Lizard bag, a $2,190 Alexander McQueen Story handbag, and a $3,100 Celine Teen Triumph bag. Hailey Bieber is also not a slacker when it comes to wearing expensive stuff to match her very exotic body. Like Selena loves diamonds, Hailey is a big fan of coats and has been seen with several ones from different brands, like a Balenciaga coat that costs about $1,700 and a $2,000 David Kama overall. She has also been seen with expensive handbags, notably from Saint Laurent, costing her about $15,000 for one and $4,000 on the other. Haley has a signature crossbody drip piece, which cost about $7,750 and owns a total of $200,000 worth of Tiffany earrings and necklaces. For her wedding, Justin got her a wedding ring that completely erupted the internet. It had a large diamond in the middle with about 10 carat of smaller diamonds, and it cost Justin a whopping $500,000 to embellish his wife's fingers. So, without doubt, Haley has this round in her favor. Point to Haley. And finally, we will be comparing both women's net worth. With all her extra endeavors, coupled with her pro modeling career, Haley currently stands at a net worth of $20 million. While Selena Gomez has raised her financial self worth to $95 million over these years. So, with a difference of $55 million, Selena Gomez wins this round. Point to Selena. With both contestants tying at two, two, this episode of Lifestyle Wars is declared a draw. That's luck on our side, as we have avoided inciting another fan clash on this video. That's the end of this episode of Lifestyle War. Join us next time as we find new stars to match up. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.